Recovery is possible for even the most hopeless of hopeless, okay? I want to show you guys some pictures from where me and my husband were 10 years ago to where we are today. This is a little collage. I had just met my husband, and we were high in every one of these pictures. We were injecting Roxy's and methamphetamine. And, yeah, this is how we met. We met higher than Cooter Brown. Druggy love. We were so in love. We were soul tied to each other. The minute we first met, we knew that we were each other's forever. Even though we were in active addiction, we had so many things that we had in common and we wanted a better life for ourselves. We wanted a better life for ourselves. We just didn't know how to get it. Sorry, looking on this picture, I remember. I had been up all night in, in a nod because I had taken like 12 methadone 10 pills and three Xanax bars. And I had been nodding in and out all night. I had caught myself on fire twice with a cigarette. And um, I had caught the mattress on fire that we were laying on. And Neil had to put it out. Thank God he woke up. This smile, all this is fake because I was hurting on the inside. That's why I kept using drugs, because I didn't love myself. Right here, you can really see how empty my eyes are, how there's no light between behind my eyes. Look at my eyes now. You can see like a light within them. Here, completely dark, soul sucking. That's what addiction is. I saw this on Facebook as a meme, and it totally depicts the beginning stages of my husband and I's relationship perfectly. I would be peeping out the blinds and he would be peeping out the peephole and we would be scared for our life that the police or somebody was coming after us. This is a picture of me and my little boy. This is right when I started to turn it around. Um, Nate got taken away from me and I started getting sober and turning my life around. This was the beginning. And then this is the now. That's my beautiful baby boy. I've had custody of my son for over eight years now. Since 2016, I've had full custody back of my son. My husband is happy and thriving. He works a full-time job. He takes care of me and his little boy, his son, our son. I mean, he's the best dad. He's so involved. And then there's me. And I'm finally working on healing myself even further with my health my physical health, not just my mental health that I had thought was, you know, I had put so much into my mental health that I, that I abandoned my physical health. And now this is me. I have lost almost 30 pounds and I'm continuing on this journey and, um, I feel better than I've ever felt, but this is what nine years of hard work and dedication and staying sober, no matter what, even when life got hard looks like.